Metal Jesus here, and I am back again with somebody new on my channel. His name is Troy Nelson, and you work at a really cool radio station, don't you? Um, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah? Um, I love it there, yes. I'm a DJ at KEXP mm -hmm. here in Seattle, and also worked at Easy Street Records for a very, very long time. Did Still you affiliated. You the shirt I was uh, Absolutely. I, love, I almost wore mine, yeah. and I was like, oh, that would have been overkill. <laughs> I'm sure they wouldn't mind, but yeah. no, I'm still very much affiliated with Easy Street, and uh, so very nice to be here too in this very famous room. <laughs> it's weird seeing it in person. Uh, yeah, I know. It's it's always smaller, isn't it? It's I mean way smaller, <laughs> but it, it's still equally as it's, awesome. It's packed with goodness. It's isn't packed it? with amazingness, is what it is. <laughs> and so you have kind of a history of vinyl, and and for today's video, I want to talk about what I think is one of the most amazing vinyl ever made. Absolutely. Uh, throughout the years, people have snuck little hidden things onto vinyl records. Mm -hmm. As I was telling you before we started filming, uh, some bands would etch little messages around the, the label that you have to hold in the Which line Which immediately stuff. had me going to my collection going, Yeah, ooh, we gotta look and yeah. see, look at this. Yeah, yeah. I want to see if Ozzy has some sort of satanic exactly. message. Exactly, <laughs> there are some, believe me. Uh, but this vinyl has the goods. This it, is the craziest uh, vinyl I've seen in a long time. That's right. So we're talking about Jack White's Lazaretto. I, I, I right? think that's right. Right. Is it a real word? I think it is. Yeah. Yeah, it probably means something that <laughs> yeah. only Jack knows about. Yeah. I have no idea. Or that we wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who watches is probably like, oh, idiots. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait till you see the comments. Yeah. <laughs> So, so even if you're not a Jack White fan, I wanted to to kind of highlight this this album on my channel because it is amazing. Even if you don't collect vinyl, this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. And yeah. he calls it an ultra LP, and we're going to kind of talk about why it's so special here. Yeah. So, so to start off with, there are about ten things that are like really unique about this that mm -hmm. are beyond the music, and obviously, a and a few things that are the first time ever. They, okay. They've never found another example of yeah. it, so that's kind of cool. All right. So, so one, you know, I was thinking about this as vinyl, and one of the things that's kind of funny about this, it doesn't come with any instructions. So, right. So, it's, it, there's no piece of paper in there. Well, there is actually a small piece of paper covering one thing about this that we'll, we'll get into. But, right. but as far as like most of these, you have to kind of discover them. And the first one that you discover, at least I did, mm -hmm. when when I when I put on side A and put the needle down. It, it just played this funky, weird, rear. It just like it just kept going, just and kept the going. needle didn't move. No, it, it just stays there. It doesn't, you know, move inward yeah, like, like what, regular. What did record. I buy? Like, is this some defective? <laughs> <laughs> and if there wasn't the internet, who knows if anyone would ever figure it you out? No, no, take no. Back yeah, to yeah store. exactly. Oh, this is a defect. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, side A plays from the inside out. Right. And then once you hit the very, very last groove of the record, it's a locking groove, so it plays for eternity. Right. Uh, so it plays from the inside out, and then it just gets stuck there. And <laughs> they're saying it may be the first locking groove that's on the outside of a record. Because a lot of records, like Sgt. Pepper, would yeah. play un until uh, it hit a locking groove on the inside, like Correct. near the label. Yeah. But this one's on the outside, which uh, makes it very interesting and very cool. Yeah, and, so, and, and actually it has locking grooves on both sides. So, on both sides, on both, exactly. So, so it's on the outside, on side A, it's on the inside, on side B. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. So what else is uh, unique about this album? I think one of the stranger things, and I don't know how he came up with this, but he decided to hide two songs That's right. that aren't on the digital yes. release. There's two songs hidden on the vinyl, but it's underneath the label, underneath yeah. the sticker in the yeah. middle of the record, both of them. And it looks weird too, because it has like a, I mean, it looks like a normal label, but then it has this kind of black groove. And, yeah. and, and again, without instructions, you're just like, why would you ever this one, think to, yeah. to put your needle on the, the actual label? On the label, you'd think yeah. that would ruin your needle, which it might. <laughs> right. uh, also, you would think that you would have to peel the sticker off to get to the, that, but the thing is you can put the needle right on top of the label. Yeah. That's crazy. Yes, it's a bit crackly and it sounds uh, very, very lo fi, but right. you still can hear it. It's really cool. <laughs> I wonder if anyone has tried tearing off the, the sticker I'm to see, sure. oh, it might sound better if I do, but I mean, who's going to do that? And then the other thing about those two hidden tracks, and again, you would never know this, is that they're at two different speeds. So yeah. one of them is recorded at 45 RPMs, and the other is at 78 RPMs. And the regular record plays at 33 and a third, like most records, so it's a three-speed record. You have to have a three-speed record player That's, to get the full experience. Which again, you could only, I mean, I could see where 
you could, you, and I can even, I think I have a record where it is 33 on one side and 45 on the other. Sure. Uh, but that's unusual. But to have three speeds, I, it's crazy. They're also saying that might be a first. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. That's crazy. Really cool. So there's also something about sort of the finishes, right? Yeah. The side A is your regular glossy, like most records that mm -hmm. you see. But on side B, he went with a matte finish that looks like an unplayed 78, like back in the old school days. So it has yeah. this really cool look to it. Yeah. And so why he chose to do that, I, for fun, he can. I know. Yeah. I know. Well, I mean, all this stuff. Like, why would you do it, right? Well, because he has the money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Because people like me would be like, this is so cool. Yeah, This exactly. is why I collect vinyl, right? I mean, it's, it. let's face it, he calls it the ultra, what does he call it? The ultra? The, the ultra LP. Ultra LP. It's the ultra nerdy LP. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. So another really pretty cool part about this, again, you would never know when you first buy it. it, it I believe it's uh, track A on side B. When you put the needle down, the, the song will start. And Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, the first track on side B. Yeah. Yeah, it's called uh, Just One Drink. Yeah. And it has two different intros. Yes. Depending on where you place the needle. So, so to understand that again, there's two parallel intros on that um, on that vinyl. Yeah. yeah, and then they meet up. Yeah, into, For, in, and then it plays the regular yeah. song as it is. Yes, yeah, so you'll get either an an, uh, an acoustic version or an electric version. It's so cool. <laughs> I mean, so cool. it's what he calls it like dual groove technologies. I don't know. It's just that that's pretty amazing. That is pretty amazing. Yeah. Water, I drink gasoline. One of us is happy, one of us is mean. I love you, but There's also something about the outside. Yeah, the outer the outer room. Well, it's 180 gram, which isn't oh. you know uh, audio file crazy. Quality. Yeah, exactly. But the outside is like a flat. It, it's flat like the old 78s. It looks like an old school record from way back in the day. So that that's also just a, a neat little yeah. uh, fact about about the record. Also, too, it's it's worth noting that uh, you know if you're a fan of Jack White's music, uh, one of the really cool things about this is that there was zero compression use, right? That's right. Yeah, zero from start to finish. Like even when he recorded the the album, there's no compression. Mixing, mastering, no compression. Putting it over to vinyl, zero. On the digital, there is sort of a necessary amount of compression you have right. to have for the digital release. But for this vinyl, absolutely zero compression. I mean, it is as analog as it gets. Which again is is a very cool thing because. While this this record is kind of crazy and it's got a lot of fun elements of that, he didn't let the music suffer. Like that's that's a very kind of audiophile thing to, so to cool. claim, right? Well, especially you know in this day and age, yeah, it's absolutely. so cool that somebody's doing it. Yes. Yeah, And then I think one of the final things, which is one of the coolest things, is it was exclusive to this, right? It's the hologram. It's the hologram. That's yes. the big one. That is what everybody was talking about when this uh, was first released. And it is the only one of its kind, or at least the first. I have since seen, mm -hmm. now some people are starting to do it, but there is a hologram. And I, at first, was a little skeptical of it. Right. I'm like, is it going to look that good? Yeah. It's, it's going to be, you know, <laughs> I'm going to get all hyped up and then I'm going to turn the lights off and it's going to be disappointing. <laughs> it's not disappointing at all. He found this artist uh, named Tristan. Tristan Duke, hmm. who started this company called Infinity Light Science, and it's like a lab where they study light and holograms, and huh. he uses these, this Tristan guy uh, was working with these metal plates that would spin, and he would, you know, uh, engrave them, and okay. it would create a hologram. Yeah. And so Jack White or his people or whoever had heard about this and wondered, can we do this with vinyl? Yeah. Is it possible? And sure enough, on the dead wax portion of the record, there's these etchings that just just look like scribbles. Yeah, it looks really weird when you first hold it up. You're just like, wow, what's this? It all looks about? like a mess. It looks yeah. like a, like somebody just took a razor blade yeah. and scratched it. But if you're spinning the record, turn all the lights off and hold. I, I use my cell phone light, you know, mm -hmm. your flashlight. If you just hold it above and you get it just right, and, and an angel will yeah. appear hovering over the record. Yeah. It's not like yeah, you know, it's really cool. It's it's above the record and it's spinning with the record. It has a halo and it's a this little perfect yeah. angel spinning around. It's incredible. I, there's there's never been anything like it before, and I, to me that is easily one of the coolest things I've ever seen 
in, a, in on a vinyl record. Yeah. I mean, it's impossible. To I mean, that's the amazing thing about this record is that it has so many really cool aspects of it. Like I mentioned earlier, is that this is one of the reasons why I love vinyl. You can't do this on any other format. It would have been amazing without the hologram. <laughs> right. The hologram. I mean, it's like yeah. the cherry on yeah. top. It's like ten cherries on top. And actually, the the other thing that's really cool about this is that he didn't charge thirty, forty, sixty dollars for no. this. It was a twenty dollar record. Yeah, nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's what I paid for it new. I mean, mm -hmm. and in the the guy at Easy Street he was like, dude, you're collecting vinyl. Even if you're not a fan, you have to own this. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, you have to. I, yeah. Even if you're not a fan, exactly. Yeah. It's just so cool to mm -hmm. to uh, to see. I also saw. Um, yeah, I, I've only seen one other example. Rush has recently done one. Really? And it's a spinning like star in a cer inside the circle, Ooh. and it spins. It's oh. pretty cool. I might have to buy that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty cool. But yeah. that was the first, the the angel, which might be also a reference to. There's angels on the cover. Hmm of the record here. Oh, of course. And other little tiny little Easter eggs, like Jack is obsessed with the number three. Mm. So uh, he, on past albums, he'll highlight the number three on the back, like the number three will be in red, oh, or he's, you know, third man records, huh. three. Um, Jack White the third. And so he on his tie, he's got three little bars, oh, yeah. and there's three angels on each side of him, and there's all, wow, kinds, so, of, huh. all kinds of nerdy things yeah. to read into about it, but it's really cool. The uh, the final thing about this album, which is one of my favorite things also about collecting vinyl today, is that they often come with a download code. So yes. they don't expect you to go out and spend twenty, thirty dollars for a vinyl and then go have to buy it for you know your portable device. Absolutely. It'll come with a, a MP3 download, which is a really nice thing to do. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. Well, dude, this is, I know, we were so fired up to do this. I was i was like, oh man, I can't wait to cover this album. Yeah, so. <laughs> well, and when you asked me to do this, you didn't even know if I was familiar no. with it. You just trusted me? I, I'm crazy like that. I, you are. You're like, hey, you want to <laughs> well, do it? Okay, well, he works at a radio station and you've worked at, at Easy Street. Sure. I, you know, it's a, it's a fairly good gamble. It, it was a good gamble. <laughs> Definitely the odds were in your favor. <laughs> So, so Troy and I are going to do more vinyl collecting videos. Yes. Um, also, you and I may do a, a 3DO buying guide because you are a 3DO fan. I am a Panasonic 3DO fan. I actually owned one back in the day. They were very expensive. Yes. I begged my parents until they went down in price and they got me one. So I owned it when it came out. And so I have a lot of nostalgia for it. But also, I have a very good uh, perspective on it because I see the greatness in what many may consider a terrible failure. Oh, yeah. No, 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 because it has need for speed on it. It has so need for the, speed. Yeah. And road rash. Yes, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, thanks very much hey, for coming on absolutely. and helping with this. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Let me know what you think about crazy vinyl collecting down in the comments and take care.